Okay, here we go. Pedal. Pedal. Okay. Pedal. Stop pedaling. Stop. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my God. We're in. Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me get the propeller down. That is amazing. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting totally splashed. I'm going to go this way. Look, <laughs> the rudder works brilliantly. It's awesome. We have invented um, something truly, truly useful. Hi, fly. You work so well. Stop. Houston, we have a problem. What? We've lost our propeller. Oh, dear. Are we up a creek without a paddle? The Pyramids of Giza, one of the seven ancient wonders of the world, actually used to be white. When they were finished, the Egyptians covered them with an outer layer of what's called casing stones to give the giant pyramids smooth slopes. So not only were they originally white, but they didn't used to look like giant staircases either. They were straight and would have been the most fun slide ever. These casing stones were made from polished Tura limestone with the express purpose in mind of reflecting the rays of the sun. They were five feet long, five feet high, six feet deep, and weighed 15 metric tons each. So what happened to these giant things? Different leaders would take them to use for other building projects because they were too lazy to go get their own. It seems rude, but honestly, who can blame them? Welcome to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest, Kyoto, Japan. There's groups of people who hunt down seals and free them from fish line. This is a unique colored clay pottery. This is how fast birds eat fish. This electric toaster was invented 100 years ago. It's quite simple, the element heats up and the doors close against it. Now let's see how it's looking. There we are. We can flip the toast. Toast the other side. Soccer with Storm Eleanor. What Dan had discovered was the largest flying bird of all time. A new species they called Pelagornis sandersi. This massive element here is the humerus. This is the first bone of the wing skeleton, so it's equivalent to the upper arm bone in a human skeleton. This bone in particular is longer than my entire arm, and so we have a remarkably long wing. The giant bird's body was six feet long. With a wingspan of 24 feet, the largest bird alive today, the wandering albatross, could fit under just one of its wings. 
Pelagornis's wingspan rivaled that of a Harrier jump jet.